I would just um, credit to Kansas State. Um, they played harder than we did today. It's disappointing. Um, I want to thank our fans for showing up. Uh, continue to hang in there. Believe in us. We're going to keep working. But uh, it's a team that came out with more energy than us today for 40 minutes. Well, we needed to get stops. Um, and we needed to get stops from veterans on our team. And uh, that's probably the disappointing part. We've got to be able to step up and do that. When you look at the number of points off of turnovers, I guess what does that signify for you and uh, how do you improve that quickly? Yeah, we're okay with our turnover number. Our game goal is 15 or less uh, with the pace of play that we, we like to do. Um, it, so um, we're okay with that number. That's not something that, that we sit on very much in terms of uh, for the game. I had kind of asked Tuck this question, but when you get in an opportunity like in a live game situation and you see the way that Williams and, and Lee are really kind of able to, to take control inside, I mean, what's the message that you want for her and Lexi and, and Britt to be able to take away from this game and translate into the next time that you face off against Kansas State? You got to be more competitive. You got to be tougher. Um, you got to be more physical. They combined for 41 points. The whole scout was about those two, and we did not defend them well. Factors involved with it. Oh, you hit the nail on the head. Um, we we didn't have the energy that it takes to win the game for the duration of the game today, and um, that's something that continues to um, plague us from time to time as we build this program. Um, it is part of growing pains as you build a program, um, but we've got to um, continue to grow in that area and get past it. Were you surprised coming off of TCU that the, the, that the energy was that low? How surprised were you, I guess? I was disappointed. I'll be very, very matter of fact on that. Um, we had great energy there. We were very locked in. Uh, it took us a while to really get, get that um, energy piece rolling here today, probably into the third quarter before we really saw it. It's all about who wants it more, you know. Um, like Coach said, K-State brought way more energy, way more fight. Um, so it's just really at that at that time of the game when it's that close with the uh, with that little time, it's all about who wants it more. It's all about who want to be a dog. I know that was kind of the message after last game too, and the win in TCU was look at how much we fought. When did you feel it, like it was flat, or you didn't have that? The first half it felt real flat. Third quarter we we played, and then it went flat again. We just got to learn to be consistent with our energy. In a game when you're coming back from behind, you're matching them, and then they go ahead, what needs to become more consistent at that point? I would just keep saying fight. Like, you can't give up. When we, get, when we get energy, when we got the fans involved, we make a basket, then we go basket for basket, bucket for bucket. That's unacceptable. We got to sit down and guard, and we got we to gotta get score, stop, <laughs> score, stop, score, stop. Tuck, I know that really – one of the things that Kansas State does in their identity is just being able to run the post so efficiently. And you guys expected that. It was part of the game plan. But when you get in a live game situation like that and you're going head-to-head -head against both Lee and, and Williams, I mean, what, what did they do from your perspective just inside that was really so efficient? I would just say they stuck to what, like, they normally do. They didn't do anything really special. They were just, you know, looking for each other. And we talked about in the scout that their main focus was looking inside, dump downs, high lows, whatever the case may be. and. It was just on myself and, and the bigs that we had to know that and defend it. Uh, we had to defend them tough, and I didn't think we did, we did the best job of that. So, I mean, they just stuck to what they did best, and we didn't do a good job of, of defending it. What was the message that Coach just gave the team, though, in the locker room there? And I kind of asked Boogie this, but, like, what can you learn just from being in a moment like that so early in the Big 12? Sleep. I'd probably just say, you know, we can't get too high. We can't get too low. We have to hold each other accountable. Um, we have to make sure we have consistent consistency and we have to make sure our energy and our effort is there because there is going to be times where in the games it's going to be highs and lows. Some things are going to go wrong, but as long as we stick together and we pick each other up, we listen to our coaches, we trust them, and we execute, we should be fine. And most definitely we got to defend and, and we got to get stops and, and we got to score. Boogie, there's that one play, though, there in the second half, whenever you kind of read the defense well, or you read the, the offense well on the baseline out of bounds, and you go and you steal and you're able to score. Just kind of what did you see from that perspective? What did you see? In that I just saw uh, a couple of times I just read it. I was just looking at her, and I just saw that she kept relaxing and was just, you know, being lazy with the pass. So just being sneaky and hiding behind the defender and getting the ball.